Hi guys, here's a little quick thing I just figured out that I thought I would share with you. So here I am in Excel and I've made up some fake computers. I've got fake IP addresses, a fake manufacturer, model, location, and type. Save that and then jump over to Visio. Two ways you can do this. You can either have the icons on the screen already, so I'm going to drag a couple icons on the screen, or you can do it the opposite way. Let me show you what I mean. If I go up to data and I go to either quick import or custom import, quick import just pulls it in, custom import lets you um, make some decisions. So let's say I've got my workbook, So you can determine which of the columns you want to bring in and which of the rows you want to include. You can also specify whether there's a unique identifier, which I guess would be IP address for us. If you don't have an IP, a unique identifier, you can still keep going by going in row number, row number order. Okay, then what it does is over here on the right hand side, it gives you the rows. So if you, if you have already created the um, your spreadsheet, so you've got the icons and everything already created and you just want to link them to the data, then what you do is you just drag the row onto the icon. Or you can go the other way. So like with row three here, let's say that one's going to be a PC. So I can click the, the kind of shape I want it to be and then click on the row and drag it out and it'll be that shape. Let's say this one's a laptop. So I'm going to click on the laptop and then I click on row four and drag it out. So, so let's say the rest of these are PCs, PC, PC, PC. To make that a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better. This is what you end up with. The little flags here are part of a legend. If you want to see the legend, you go up to insert legend and you can do horizontal or vertical. And now it says red flag equals pender 2, orange flag equals pender 3, yellow flag equals pender 4, and that corresponds to the information I have here in my spreadsheet. And then this is saying model equals whatever. You don't have to keep all of it. You could click on that section and take that off and just keep the flags. One more thing, you have the ability to um, display more information. So if I go up here, I'm under the data, data tab in the show hide area, I can say data graphic fields and I can add additional information. So probably most importantly, IP address. And so now all of them will display the IP address. Oh, and now it's letting me do my data graphics. Okay, so if I want the location to have a different icon, I can hit location over here and I could say, you know, none of these really make any sense, but I could say all the red ones are whatever location, all the yellow ones are whatever location, all the green ones are whatever location. So if I insert my legend again, I think that's a little clearer than the tiny little flags. You can have multiple locations too. So you could say, um, if I turn on type, I can have a type thing. And so the type maybe could have a little flag. So insert my legend. So now the computer color equals the location and the flag equals whether it's a desktop or a laptop.